After a week-long trial and a full day of deliberations, the jury today found Samuel Young guilty of all seven charges against him. Two counts of assault, four counts of attempted manslaughter, and one count of illegal discharge of a firearm. It was July 25th of 2020. Young was among a large group of demonstrators on I-225 in Aurora protesting police brutality, specifically the in-custody death of Elijah McClain. At one point, the driver of a Jeep, who prosecutors said was headed to the airport and likely did not know about the demonstration, started maneuvering through the crowd. Several demonstrators dove out of the way, but prosecutors say Young pulled out a handgun and fired five shots. Two of them hit the back of the Jeep, two others hit two demonstrators, one in the leg, the other a graze wound to the head. His lawyers said Young's decision to open fire was a split second one made to stop the car and potentially save the lives of demonstrators. But prosecutors said it was a completely unjustified shooting. Once again, late this afternoon, the jury found Young guilty of all charges. Sentencing was set for May 17th on each of the top counts of attempted manslaughter. Young faces up to six years in prison. In Arapahoe County, Matt Jablo, 9 News. The lead prosecutor at the time of the incident, Republican District Attorney George Brockler, did not choose to press charges against that Jeep driver.